He was an engineer, a scientist, and he was singularly responsible for the development of dry chemical as fire extinguishing agents used in both portable and fixed fire suppression systems. This award is partially endowed by his son, Keith Geis. Now, this promises to be one of the most difficult presentations or introductions that I've had to make because this year's award winner is uh, Professor Jose Terrero. And I first uh, met the good professor in 1999 as I was conducting a, or participating in the ABET accreditation of the Fire Protection Engineering Program at the University of Maryland. Part of the responsibility is to, of that uh, accreditation is to interview each of the faculty members. So I got to do uh, Professor Terrero's office door, and on the outside of his door was a name tag that said Dr. Hose. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it seemed that uh, Professor Terrero had been to a conference such as this, probably in either North Carolina or Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they spelled his name like it sounded, so Dr. Ho. So, uh, and, and ever since then, I, I, I've been unable to contain myself and I've always addressed him as Dr. Ho. Uh, morning, Dr. Ho. Hello, Dr. Ho. Good to see you, Dr. Ho. So David Evans called me and told me that uh, Professor Terrero had won this award, and I said, you mean Dr. Hose? <laughs> and, and I could hear Dave cringe over the phone. He said, now this is a, a very formal, distinguished occasion. <laughs> <laughs> do Don't call him Dr. Hose. <laughs> so I'm going to try my best not to address him as Dr. Hose. After completion of his Ph.D. at uh, Cal Berkeley, he worked in, uh, as a research fellow at NASA Lewis Center, the European Space Agency, and the Laboratory de Combustion and Detonique CNRS, University of Deporte. Professor Terrero joined the Department of Fire Protection Engineering at the University of Maryland in 1995. He is holding the title of Assistant and Associate Professor. He was also a visiting researcher at the National Institute of Standard and Technology. After his stay at Maryland, Professor Terrero joined the University of Edinburgh, where he was appointed reader in fire dynamics, and later BRE Trust, Royal Academy of Engineering, Professor of Fire Safety Engineering in 2004. In the span of the last four years at Edinburgh, he participated in the creation of the National Center of Excellence in Fire Engineering, the BRE Center for Fire Safety Engineering, and the state-of-the-art laboratory facilities, as well as managing research funds in excess of $12 million obtained from government, congratulations, <laughs> research councils and industry. He has conducted research in the areas of tunnel fire safety, structural fire behavior, material flammability, post-fire remediation, <coughs> and sensor-driven emergency response. Professor Terrero's career as an academic has spanned more than a decade. He has published more than 300 papers in research areas covering fire dynamics, flame spread, smoldering, microgravity, smoke uh, detection, protection, and suppression systems. He's on the editorial board of Fire Technology, Fire Safety Journal, Combustion Science and Technology, and Progress in Energy and Combustion Science. His teaching contributions have been recognized with the Lilly Center for Teaching Excellence Fellowship, the Outstanding Mentor of the Year Award, the E. Robert Kent Outstanding Teaching Award, and the Outstanding Teacher Award at the University of Maryland. Professor Terrero is a chartered engineer by the ECD of Institute of Fire Engineers and a member of several committees, including the British Section of the Combustion Institute, the International Association of Fire Safety Sciences, the AIAA Microgravity and Space Processes Technical Committee, the ASME Fire and Combustion K-11 Committee, the UL Phones Fire Suppression System Committee, and the NASA's Mars or Burst and Fire Safety Committee. Of his many achievements, perhaps the most significant contribution to Professor Terrero toward the advancement of the field of fire protection engineering is his guidance and mentorship to literally hundreds of students aspiring to be practitioners, researchers, and teachers in the field of fire engineering. He has successfully developed excellent research and teaching programs both at Maryland and at Edinburgh that have inspired students and helped change the way fire protection engineering is thought about and taught. 
Jose has, has made a tremendous impact on the growing scope, reach, and influence of fire protection engineer. Professor Torero, congratulations. Please join me at the podium. Thank you very much.